Uh, here I am with a very short and quick video on Nick translation. It's a tagging technique used in molecular biology. By using this uh, Nick translation, we prepare radio labeled probes that can be used for several applications. This technique was developed by Peter Rigby and Paul Burke way back in 1977. Now there are two main enzymes, two workhorses of this technique. That is DNA polymerase 1 and a DNA 1. So a concerted action of DNA 1 and DNA polymerase 1 is required for Nick translation. So the action of the, both the enzymes of duplex DNA is like this. First of all, the DNA is one. DNA is one creates nick in the double stranded DNA. Okay, so by breaking the phosphodiester bond in the backbone, it creates a three prime OH end and five prime uh, phosphate uh, group having end. Okay, so the DNA. DNA is one is what, what it is doing. It is introducing ram, random scissions or nicks in the DNA. And then this E. coli DNA polymerase that is uh, used in concerted action catalyzes sequential addition of nucleotides at the three prime end that is being generated by the action of the DNA is one. And simultaneously with its five prime exonuclease activity, it uh, you know, eliminates or remove nucleotides from the 5 prime uh, phosphate end. Okay. So, uh, at the end of the process, there is no net DNA synthesis. We had a duplex DNA in the beginning as well as we have a duplex DNA at the end. Right. So, here, but the literal meaning of NIC translation is that the uh, at the first step where DNA is 1 created the NIC, now it is elongating by the action of the DNA polymerase 1 and the NIC is moving because the 5 prime exonuclease activity of the DNA polymerase. So the NIC is translating, it is moving, okay, it is moving linearly along the DNA strand. Now some important things that during NIC translation we use modified nucleotides that is either radio label nucleotides or biotinylated nucleotides or digoxygen label nucleotides okay uh, so as to tag the resulting double stranded DNA probe with modified bases okay so while we are while the dna polymerase is extending or translating the nick it's side by side adding the nucleotides new nucleotides the nucleotide provided by the user or uh, so we provide here with the labeled nucleotide either radio labeled or non radio labeled nucleotide or basically modified nucleotide so that it facilitates the de detection by the resulting probe so uh, some modified nucleotides are added by the dna polymerase to radio label the probes different Radio labeling ways are there. Either we can use PEEF32, S35, depending on the use and objective of or the probe, how do we want to use, whether we want to use it immediately or we want to use it within a week. So many things will depend to choose a radio label. Okay. And among non-radio active label, we have biotin, we have uh, fluorescence chemicals or um, chemicals bearing fluorochromes, antibodies, dicoxygen system we have. So any of these uh, choices can be considered to label the probe uh, to prepare by NIC translation. Probes prepared by NIC translation can be used for both in situ and membrane hybridization techniques like fish uh, or for during uh, cdna library screening southern hybridization and many more okay and uh, following hybridization uh, with the nick translated probes chemical chemically modified uh, probes can be detected further by either using some enzyme system or by direct observation of fluorescence measurement of chemiluminescence or fluorescent dyes right 
So uh, direct or indi indirect detection systems are there to uh, check or to detect the interaction of the probe and the target. Now, as we have understood the uh, use of uh, NIC translation, we need to know some more aspects of NIC translation. The enzymes that we use, what are their specificities? The DNA is one that we use here. The activity of this enzyme strictly depend on the metal ions that we use in the reaction. So it depends whether calcium, magnesium, or uh, you know, manganese ions are there in the reaction mix. In the presence of magnesium or manganese uh, ions, the action of the DNA is one will differ. As you can see in this example, when you use magnesium in the reaction mix, DNA is one. Uh, you know, make mix randomly in both the strands. Okay, while we when you use uh, manganese. It mix or it uh, breaks the phosphodiester bond in both the strands of the uh, about this at the same time. So either producing the uh, you know double strand break with blunt ends, and even if we uh, and sometimes with overhangs and uh, overhang having termini with only one or two nucleotides. So this is important to choose right metal ion while carrying out the nick translation. We also need to know. Uh, what activities DNA polymerase 1 used in NIC translation have? It has a 5 prime to 3 prime polymerase activity. Okay, so that, that we know that it has 5 prime to 3 prime polymerase activity and it, that requires a single stranded template and a primer with a 3 prime hydroxyl group uh, that is being provided by the DNA 1 activity during the NIC translation. It also have 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity that helps in degradation of the uh, you know, uh, bases at present at the 5 prime and while moving along the strand and by uh, during the replicating during the replication of the uh, template during NIC translation, right? And it also has 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity that we need to pay attention to that degrades double or single stranded DNA from its free 3 prime hydroxyl end. Okay, uh, so the 3 prime hydroxyl end. Uh, can be chopped up gradually towards 5 prime and by this activity but during NIC translation the letter this activity is uh, which is a proofreading and addition function of the DNA -less polymerase uh, is blocked by the 5 prime to 3 prime polymerase activity so we can say that polymerase activity dominates as uh, compared to the exonuclease activity uh, from 3 prime to 5 prime end. okay so this is all about the NIC translation. I hope you understood NIC translation, what it is and what are the important features of the technique. So viewers, thank you for watching and uh, keep coming to this channel. Please do subscribe, like and share and come again for more videos and updates. Thank you.